when they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Nazareth is the place where the source and model of youth emerge from Jesus, the adolescent, to the whole world. Since 1893, the Salesians have a strong presence in the Holy Land. The existing houses allow them to diversify their activities and the accompaniment of young people. Here in Nazareth, there is a technical school, an oratory, a public school, and the Basilica of Jesus the Adolescent. We, the Salesians, have a calling from God to be the seed and bearer of God's love to the young. And this we manifest through our many services in favor of the young people, with the oratory, the school, the attention to the young refugees. However, it is not about what we do for them, which is also important, but the message that is transmitted in each encounter that God reminds each of them, that for God each of them are very important, and that God desires to express His paternity in a lot of ways and also through us. The celebration of the centennial anniversary of the Shrine's consecration to Jesus the Adolescent is an opportunity to update the fundamental dimensions of the Salesian Youth Ministry. The Shrine was consecrated in 1923 as the World Center dedicated to Jesus the Adolescent. In 1895, Father Michael Rua, first successor of Don Bosco, came to visit Nazareth and was accompanied by Father Antonio Belloni, a young priest dedicated to a mission with the orphans. Together they decided to open a Salesian house. In 1896, when the first one was opened as an orphanage, its first chapel was already dedicated to the adolescent Jesus. In 1906, the great undertaking was launched by the support of Madame Charlotte de Sely, widow of the commander Lyon Foch that made her inheritance available to build the Shrine of Jesus the Adolescent. The whole shrine that is considered the finest example of modern Gothic in the entire Middle East has a deep meaning inspired by the simple life of the Holy Family here in Nazareth. This beautiful Basilica Church has various beautiful symbolisms that we can learn about. I emphasize a few. The engineer, the Foch family, wanted to pass this on to the people. These beautiful features show how Jesus lived when he was young here in Nazareth. First of all, this white color that is found everywhere, these white stones, which really indicate the purity of Jesus. Jesus has a pure, white, clean heart. This is one of the beautiful things to pass on to all our young people in the world. Then the most beautiful thing, simplicity, because Nazareth was a simple, poor village. Therefore, a simple church, but with great meanings, indicate the simplicity of Jesus. And also purity, as I talked about, is also emphasized with the very presence of St. Joseph, with the lily that you see in the stained glass windows and the statue of St. Joseph. These two meanings, purity, poverty, simplicity, which the engineer also wanted to emphasize as Jesus lived here in Nazareth, these are good things to transmit to our children family and the youth. Questi sono belle cose da trasmettere ai nostri ragazzi e famiglie giovani. The shrine also has a lot of details that shows its history. With the stained glass and icons of St. Francis de Sales and St. Joan of Arc. The shrine was elevated to the rank of minor basilica in 1926, twinned with the Basilica of St. Peter in Rome, Vatican. It was built on the highest hill on the west of the city, where there was already an orphanage of Jesus the Adolescent run by the Salesians of Don Bosco. When the Salesians arrived in the Middle East, in the Holy Land and Egypt, they started with many orphanages. 
The Salesians for a long time have worked with these orphanages that have become very famous. In fact, the first Salesian, Don Baloney, is still known today as Abu Yatama, the father of orphans. Don Baloney is famous fino a oggi con el nombre de Abu Yatama, no, el padre de the orphani. Here in Nazareth, the orphanage was opened with a small group of apprentice carpenters and another group of farmers. In educational activity on behalf of orphans, it is always necessary to be inspired by Our Lady and St. Joseph, educators of Jesus the Adolescent. The Salesian work in Nazareth will be divided into three sections, one for artisans, another for farmers, and the third for seminarians. This was the directive given by Father Michael Rua to his brothers in Nazareth that was followed by the dedication of a spacious crypt to the Holy Family, serving as the orphanage's interior chapel. At this time, the boys sheltered were about 40. The church above the crypt is inside a big complex in which the Salesians of Nazareth continue its mission with the youth maintaining the model of Jesus the Adolescent as the center of liturgical devotion and as the inspirational source of educational pastoral activities. We as Salesians of Don Bosco have been in Nazareth for over a hundred years. We carry a beautiful mission in this area. First of all, we have a technical school and also an elementary school with more than 500 boys and girls. A majority of them come from Nazareth and other villages in the area. It is nice that we also have an oratory, a youth center with kids for young people. There are about a hundred boys and girls who come. Then we have a cooperator center and various activities also with the people in the area. A beautiful mission. It is not easy, but it's beautiful. We are four brothers at the moment. We try to carry on as Don Bosco taught us with our motto, Dami hi animas eccetera tole. Con il simbolo nostro del Dami animas eccetera tole, così. This 100 years of the Basilica of the Adolescent Jesus is a historical fact that speaks of the development that we Salesians have had here in the Middle East. There is a very deep meaning in remembering that Jesus was a child, then a teenager, and then a young man. When the Pope wrote the encyclical Christus Vivit, he ended up making a list of the young saints that the Church has. But the first to be mentioned is Jesus himself. Let's remember that Jesus was a young man, Jesus needed the closeness of Mary and Joseph, but also of his whole village to help him grow, to be a good human being, to be a pious person. Everything that we as the Salesian family want, to be the big family around the youth that helps them discover their own potential.